the deadlift can be a problematic exercise for many people. On the one hand, it's arguably one of the very best back exercises out there and is almost indispensable for developing a well-rounded, muscular physique. And for many people, it's also the exercise where they are lifting the most weight in terms of sheer poundage. For sure, there is something very satisfying, almost affirming, about being able to pick up hundreds of pounds from the ground. But then there is the other side to the deadlift. Compared to many other exercises, it is extremely easy to do it incorrectly with poor form. In fact, the majority of people deadlifting are doing it wrong. This means that they are not getting as much out of the exercise as they could be and are often really risking injury in the process. Is the deadlift a good exercise? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Welcome to Mind X in today's video. We'll discuss how the deadlift can be a problematic exercise for many people. But before we make it to the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more premium content and hit the notification bell to be the first to watch our videos. You're rounding your lower back. This one is one of the most common and most dangerous deadlift mistakes that we see people make. If you deadlift like this, you are very likely to hurt yourself. And there is nothing like that stabbing pain in your lower back during a deadlift, which immediately lets you know that you'll be taking a week or more off from the gym. When you deadlift, you want to make sure that you have a flat, firm back throughout the entire movement. Doing this in practice, however, is easier said than done, especially if you've built up years of bad deadlifting habits. But as you smooth out your other deadlift issues, this should start falling into place. So let's get to them. You're pulling instead of pushing. Fixing this issue can be the single biggest factor in improving your deadlift, so listen up. You see, technically speaking, the deadlift is considered a pulling movement. That is, you are pulling a dead weight off of the floor and then putting it back down again. However, if you literally attempt to pull the weight up to start the movement, two things will probably happen. One, you won't be able to lift nearly as much weight. Two, you will risk hurting yourself by putting too much of the strain on your lower back. What should you be doing instead? Well, instead of focusing on pulling the bar off the floor, you should initiate the movement by pressing through the floor with your legs, as if you were somehow leg pressing the earth away from you. When you start your deadlifts like this, assuming the rest of your form is decent, you'll find that it puts far less noticeable stress on your lower back and just feels much more controlled and fluid in general. You're trying to squat the weight up. Now, some people end up taking the above point a little bit too much to heart. As a result, they end up turning the deadlift into a squat. And while the two exercises have their similarities, the deadlift is not simply a squat in reverse. Basically, people that make this mistake end up trying to start the movement as if they were at the bottom of a squat with their hips below parallel. Then what often ends up happening is that they effectively squat the weight all the way up and then bring their hips forward afterwards as two separate movements. Instead, you should start the deadlift in a half squat position, which will have your hips above parallel and will keep your knees from sticking out as much, which leads us to the next mistake. You're banning your knees with the bar. Anyone who deadlifts knows that feeling of scraped shins. It isn't fun, and it's the reason why many people opt to wear gym pants on deadlift day instead of shorts, in addition to pulling up their socks. However, scraping your shins with the bar is not an example of bad form. On the contrary, it is often a sign that you are doing the movement correctly. The same cannot be said for banging your knees with the bar. This will inhibit the bar from traveling in a straight line, making the entire lift more jerky not to mention hurting your knees with each smash. For most people, the easy fix is to stop squatting the weight up and instead begin the deadlift from a half squat position, as we mentioned above. If this isn't sufficient and you still find yourself banging your knees with the bar, then you should experiment with angling your toes outwards at differing angles. This will cause your knees to come in more, but can also decrease stability. So experiment to find the right balance for you. You're not pushing your hips back. When you're gearing up to start your deadlift set, your butt should be really pushed back. This means that it'll be comfortably behind your feet while your back remains flat and your hips are slightly above your knees. By starting like this, you'll be able to begin the deadlift by pushing with your legs, as we mentioned above, but then also flexing your glutes to drive your hips forward and help the bar travel efficiently up your body. You're bending your arms. Your arms should be straight through the entire movement from start to finish. There should never be a moment where you even attempt to curl some of the weight. If you do this, it is incredibly easy to tear your bicep, a seriously painful and debilitating injury that we don't want you to ever experience. Thankfully, avoiding this is fairly straightforward. 
Just keep your elbows locked and don't bend your arms. If it helps, you can imagine that you are arms are simply inanimate hooks for the rest of your body to lift the weight off the floor instead of actively helping to lift the weight themselves. You are starting from the rack instead of the floor. While there are some variations of deadlift that begin from the rack, such as the stiff leg and Romanian deadlift, the regular deadlift should always begin by you lifting the weight off the ground. If you try to deadlift from the rack, the lift becomes much more awkward and dangerous, and you won't be able to lift nearly as much weight as if you start from the floor. In addition, it is extremely difficult to treat the movement as a pushing motion if you begin from the rack, so please don't ever do this. You're not putting the bar down after each rep. The exercise is referred to as a deadlift for a reason, and that reason is that you are lifting dead weight off the floor. Yes, there are some gyms that will frown on this and try to sell you on the idea that this is not the right way to deadlift. They are completely and totally wrong, so don't listen to them. Remember, they have their own agenda here, to limit excessive noise from the bar dropping and also to avoid giving the mistaken impression that people are actually working out hard. We should also note that it's perfectly acceptable to pause for a second between reps to check your grip and make sure that your form is solid. So don't feel like you need to bounce the weight off the floor and use momentum to try to lift it back up. Again, it is called deadlift for a reason. You're not bending your legs. While it is possible to bend your legs too much while deadlifting, as outlined in mistake number three, you could also bend your legs too little. Typically, this happens when you start with your hips too high, which puts the majority of the load on your lower back instead of your legs. As long as you remember to start in a half squat position, you should be all set. You're hyperextending your lower back. Yes, the worst thing you could do is round your lower back, but we also need to make sure that you aren't hyperextending your lower back either. This typically happens at the top of the lift when some people go to lock out the weight. In an effort to do so, they make an exaggerated movement with their lower back, risking giving themselves a hernia. There is simply no need to do this at all. Instead, start putting the weight back down once you have stood up straight and locked both your knees and hips. You're lifting with gloves. While the effectiveness of ever wearing weightlifting gloves is debatable, you definitely should not be wearing them when you deadlift. You see, one of the biggest limiting factors when deadlifting is grip strength. This is why you'll often see people using either chalk or straps in order to improve their capacity to hold on to the bar. When you wear gloves, however, you immediately limit your ability to grip the bar properly, thus decreasing the amount you can potentially lift. This is because the gloves effectively make the bar thicker making it that much harder to hold on to. Hope you find it helpful. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss any updates. See you in the next one.